Hi guys, it's Sydney, and today we're going to try something a little bit different. I'm going to attempt to um, record a voiceover for this video. So as promised, here is the time-lapse footage from the sunset paint out at Hamo Artist Retreat. I decided to go this year for two days um, because I was awarded a scholarship, which was really awesome, and I was not expecting that. So um, Hamo Artist Retreat is at Hamo Farm in Pel Belleville, Pennsylvania. I'm going to try not to mess that up. And uh, it is run by the artist Susan Nicholas Gephardt, who is amazing. And I just wanted to share this little experience with you guys. If you want to hear more of like a review, I guess, of Hamo, I posted several things on my Facebook page, um, which you guys would check out. But today I wanted to focus on the sunset paint out because it is the most fun event and also very relaxing. So at Hemo, the sunset paint out is this big event um, where live music is played during sunset and you're in this big open field as the sun's going down and it's just a gorgeous view. Um, this year and last year, the local musician Richard Slay, who I actually know and I know the family very well, they're awesome. He came to play some live music with his guitar and harmonicas. He's really big into the harmonicas. He actually makes custom ones too, which is really cool. And so it's always really fun to listen to him. So he was playing live music while we were painting. And for this sunset paint out, I wanted to do something a little different. And to give you some backstory in this, I got to go back to the morning before this happened. So at Hemo Artist Retreat, there usually is a morning kickstart demo, which um, Susan usually does in the morning. But sometimes other artists are invited in to do different things. And this year, that specific day, it happened to be Linda Benton McCloskey. And I'm hoping I pronounced that right. Linda is awesome. And I met her last year at Hemo. I actually was helping her um, learn plein air painting. And... I had no idea how talented she was until then. She is mainly an abstract painter that lives in the Harrisburg area, I believe. If I'm wrong, um, I'll correct myself later. But she is an artist at the Millworks in Harrisburg and does a lot of demonstrations and classes with cold wax and oil painting. Now, this was completely new to me. I was like, cold wax, what is this? So she gave an awesome demonstration for the Kickstart demo in the morning um, using this medium and I just was like okay I gotta try this I'm usually not very strict with my materials I'm still trying to figure out what I like the most although I have a basic palette and basic supplies that I like really love and use all the time I'm still experimenting so at first I was like I'm not gonna try this because this is gonna be too much for me and it's gonna stress me out I'm not gonna know what to do with it it's gonna look wrong and so the first painting that I'm doing here in the video is actually done in the, my regular oils with linseed oil and traditional oil paints. And I started that way and I got immediately frustrated, <laughs> of course. So after that, I was like, you know what? It's a sunset paint out. It's supposed to be fun. It doesn't have to be a perfect product. So I'm going to try some cold wax. So later in the video, as I'm starting my second one, I go right into the cold wax and um susan nicholas Gephardt is a gambling brand instructor spokesperson and so sh they give her supplies and stuff to share with people at the hemo artist treat which is awesome because i've found some really great stuff <laughs> from playing around with her stuff <laughs> so um gambling provided some cold wax for that demo with linda so we the Hemo artist could actually try it. And I'm like, you know what? I should just do it. So as I'm blocking in that second painting, I'm thinking, yeah, maybe I should just, you know, try it. So I eventually <laughs> get brave enough and I go over to another artist who had brought the um, cold wax sample out. And I'm like, hey, you know, I'm really, I'm ready to try this. And she's like, yeah, you got to do it. <laughs> So I did, and I immediately grabbed my palette knives, and I'm debating whether, which one I'm going to use, and I ended up using both, because um, I like both, and I am having so much fun playing with this cold wax. It's such a different 
feel than regular oil paints, but it is really cool. And if you want to learn more about cold wax and using it, especially in abstract ways, you got to check out Lyndon Benton McCloskey's YouTube channel. And she does some awesome videos. She actually did some about the same topic using an oil boiler and, um, oh, I don't, scraper? Scraper and oil boiler with cold wax and oils and i'll link her channel down below so you guys can check her out she has some awesome stuff she's also really fun to just listen to but yeah thank you linda for doing the demo that was really fun and now i'm hooked on another thing <laughs> so i was really enjoying loosening up and playing with this medium it's something i don't usually do but i'm glad i did and so as you can see in this one i went back over the first painting um, with cold wax and oil mixed, um, which you can do. Uh, it took a little longer to dry, but it did work. And I'm actually really happy with how these paintings turned out, which is very rare because usually during the sunset paint out, because you only have so much time before the sun goes down and the light changes and everything moves so fast, anything in plein air painting moves fast, but you know what I mean. Usually I get too stressed out and put too much pressure on myself to paint something really quickly that looks amazing which come on doesn't happen <laughs> so this time with the cold wax I found it was a lot more fun and I told myself you know what? you're just gonna play with this cold wax that was the very first time that I've ever touched cold wax with my palette knife so I was actually really happy with how this turned out for never touching it before and not having an idea of how it would act with my paints I think that it worked really well but overall, I think that the Hemo Arts Retreat was just a really nice art vacation. I say that all the time. It is my art vacation of the year, and I deeply enjoy it. So if you're ever in Pennsylvania in the fall time or springtime, this was the May retreat, you, you have to check it out. And I'll leave a link down below to the Hemo page um, that Susan posts and the Facebook page if I can find that link because... If you're in the area and you like plein air painting or in landscapes and painting animals, like you have to go at least once. It's a very relaxed setting. The owner of the farm is awesome. And if you ever get a chance to stay for the dinner, that's when things get a little bit, not crazy, but you know, a lot more fun conversation. There's not much pressure to eat and then go paint. Overall, it's just a really fun experience and I'm glad that I went. Anyway, I actually attempted to vlog during Hemo, and I have some footage, which I think I'm going to throw together in a video somehow. I'm going to have to fill in pieces, but that's fine. And so you guys should stay tuned for that. Let me know if you guys enjoy this more casual type video of me talking versus trying to film and talk at the same time. It's actually um, kind of fun to do this. And also, I think it's going to sound a lot better um, with a mic. Anyway, guys, if you watch this whole thing, thank you. <laughs> and if you're curious of some of the supplies that I used for this painting, I'm going to link down below um, some of the supplies, including the cold wax, if you guys are interested in trying this yourself. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I want to see you in the next video.